look at what a workflow looks like from the standpoint of when it's been assigned to you because at any time you might log into to the total enterprise and find out whoa what is this on my dashboard like a workflow has been assigned to me okay what do i do about it so let's start from there before we go to how you can create a workflow how about that awesome so i'm logged in right now as a production manager of Senchi farms we can see on his dashboard that he has assigned a workflow this workflow is describing a task to review a budget for production in in third quarter of 2020 and we see here that this workflow has been assigned the actor here is the one who is supposed to log in and act on the workflow is miss erica accountant this is the finance director and we see here that there's a required action of reviewing and the status is pending the due date is actually today 23rd june and so this is the dashboard of steven who has created the workflow so steven anytime steven comes to work and logs in he gets to see all workflow tasks that are currently pending that makes a lot of sense so so he doesn't need to now try and think okay we'll have like a sticky note write write some some reminders on sticky notes and stick it all over his desk no that's that's a bit disorganized that take this this takes that away completely you don't need sticky notes to remember who, who is working on what for you and who do you need to follow up with this dashboard does all that hard work for you and steven can also even go ahead and download a document he has shared you can click on that and see it great so I'm just going to log in as the accountant and complete this workflow task so let me log out log in as the accountant and here she has her workflow task great So I'll go into this workflow task and um, since my work was to review the budget, say I downloaded the document and let's have some evidence of the actual review. So how about I add here a line item called um, internet uh, bundles. Put a figure up, say 250 here, 300 here, and 250 here. Great, and then I'm going to highlight this in blue and save it. So this way we, we have a way to tell that this document has changed, right? Great, now, so I'm just going to browse for this document, which you meant. in here and leave a comment for Steven production manager said I have reviewed the production budget and added one line item see attached okay and I'm going to complete my workflow task great and Erica just goes ahead and saves the workflow task Steven is going to be notified of this change he has to be so that he can also advance the workflow and there you have it. it tells you workflow notification will be sent to Steven production manager and so that the task the workflow task is now lighted up in in green so you can see that th th the workflow is is is, is more specific to collaboration and action that triggers notifications based on document and and approvals and whatever sort of workflow action has been defined on the document okay so it's, a, it's, it's different from the to-do list in that sense but in itself is a to-do list is a task 